Hello guys, uh, this is Varun and you're watching Shutdaholic TV. Uh, it's been a while, I haven't posted any uh, photography video and uh, you know I, I specifically wanted to cover this topic. I'm holding a Canon 3900D in my hand and uh, uh, well one of my friend came and asked that uh, even though the autofocus of uh, the camera is working fine but he's not able to click uh, you know perfectly focused images. Now see the point is that not all eyes are created equal and for those who who are without a 20 by 20 normal vision this may be a problem when you look through the camera's viewfinder okay even though the camera out of order focuses on subject uh, you would still get the blurry images even even when the camera's lens is focused because you, because of this your camera's viewfinder likely has some diopter adjustment to make now diopter is if i so you show you closely this little uh, knob yeah on the right hand side of your viewfinder this is known as uh, diopter, diopter adjustment knob all right now <coughs> taking it further uh, this diopter adjustment allows you to customize the viewfinder so that you can see a clear and a focused image inside the viewfinder without using sunglasses uh, I'm sorry an eyeglass which you know people wear who doesn't have a normal 20 by 20 vision or a contact lens to correct your vision now let's move on to the next topic how do you how do you know your diopter needs to be adjusted well the only way uh, to tell if your diopter is uh, accurately adjusted for your eyes is to look around the viewfinder uh, you know like grid or exposure information focus point digital data etc and when you see in your LCD like for example I've got a little subject in front of me I'll just put on the LCD screen and this Canon okay this Canon cap okay now it's focused I just press the shutter halfway through you get focused now <clears throat> these are the grid lines and you know the moment uh, you focus on a subject a little this green square in the middle just popped up now it says that the Canon which is written on this cap is now focused now if, if you get this and uh, uh, you know uh, the camera's autofocus is working fine but still uh, when you click you're gonna get a blurry image so this is when you know that you need diopter adjustment now let's come to the next uh, thing that how do you adjust your diopter now different viewfinders have different adjustment but there's likely you know supposed to be a little wheel on the right hand side of your viewfinder you know <clears throat> at a very close proximity you know you can be here 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 wherever you see this little wheel with plus or minus sign this is the diopter uh, with which you can adjust right now <clears throat> moving further how do you adjust what is uh, you know the correct procedure now first of all I would recommend mounting your camera on a tripod okay you mount a camera on a tripod I don't have it right now because I'm using my tripod to make a video but uh, since you have if you have uh, you know a tripod just mount it I'm gonna use my hands at this point in time just mount it on a tripod okay and focus on something which your camera can see clearly like for example this cannon written in the middle of this cap is standing out uh, you can choose any of the background that you like and uh, which is relatively easy for your camera to focus on okay now secondly what you do is now if it's a note autofocus camera activate the autofocus you do it from your lens see this autofocus and man focus uh, button you can adjust and right now it's set to autofocus so I'm all good okay <clears throat> and then uh, if it's an autofocus camera autofocus mode which is right now and uh, okay, it's going it's coming back again now what you do is you take a look at this now try and focus and wait till that okay that green popped up Canon is focused and you click now <clears throat> once you click now I'm getting a perfect image because of the fact that my diopter is adjusted uh, as per my requirement as for my eyes I've gotten perfect 20 by 20 vision now if uh, you know the image is blurry okay to your eye then you need to adjust the diopter rotate the wheel or slide the wheel until everything is sharp okay in this window okay All right everything should be sharp now let's come to the point if you're using a manual focus camera if 
this this grid lines the autofocus which comes in the middle that square is not sharp you'll need to adjust the diopter only then you can achieve accurate manual focus unless you have an electronic focus aids which a lot of expensive camera has okay now <coughs> is, there, is there any problem while uh, you know operating on this or you know making a change on this diopter if your camera is out of focus and if you see a blurry image in the viewfinder then you either focus the camera using autofocus or manual focus and everything is sharp but is it what if you didn't manually focus accurately or worse what if the autofocus is inoperative or has some glitch then if your camera's viewfinder gives you sharp viewfinder details grid lines autofocus points blood bloody image there are likely problems with the camera lens if the image uh, is crystal clear but uh, you know the image is slightly out of focus you have a minus autofocus error you can verify this by switching to manual focus and see if you can uh, you know achieve uh, clear manual focus now <clears throat> this is about setting up uh, the diopter guys the new cameras all of them have this diopter function okay and it's easy uh, in any of the new equipment to you know probably if you don't getting uh, a sharp crispy image you can set this diopter and everything works out fine in the old older version of cameras where people didn't have uh, you know perfect 20 by 20 vision then they'll have to use a diopter lens uh, it, it's not a lens basically it's a covering in front of a lens that you use in order to set uh, you know camera but that I'll take it up in another video so if you have any questions please leave at the bottom of the page I'll be happy to reply them all and uh, if you have any issue you want to make uh, you want me to make another video of this diopter adjustment please uh, let me know all right so I'll catch you in the next video and uh, I know I've been cycling a little less that's because I was not well but then I'm back on track and hopefully tomorrow is Sunday and I'm gonna be going out and uh, riding probably to you know some nice location that I'll share with you guys in another video all right so you guys take care keep, keep on clicking and if you have any problem with the cameras please uh, email me or you can comment and you can you know visit my social media online uh, profiles and you can drop a message at uh, any platform and I'll be happy to reply you back all right so you guys take care I'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching